Hi there! We are going to talk about the new collection from Pretty Presets Winter Wonderland. When you install your presets, they're going to show up under the preset tab in the left side of your develop module. When you install it, you need to click on the little triangle to the side and it, and it unfolds and shows all the individuals. And we're going to turn it on our navigator so we can see. And I'm going to go through the steps and, and show you how to use this uh, neat collection. Okay, so here is our starting image. There are nine creative presets that can give you a custom look, a creative look. And when you hover over them, you can see what the effect will be, effect will be in the navigator pane. And then you can reset those looks, you know, to start over. Uh, we can add in some haze maybe dull out the green and soften the image. Then we have eight horizontal snows, eight vertical snows, and you know the portrait orientation does matter. This long ways like this is horizontal and then when it's on its end um, like this one, okay, I'll reset that, it is vertical. All right, so we're going to come back to this one here. And we are going to work on this one. And we're going to use horizontal snow presets. First, I'm going to come up and I'm going to click on, I think, blue lace. I like that. It's pretty. I like the little, little bit of haze it has. If I want to add a little bit more haze, I can add haze full or haze just in the middle, haze just at the top. Maybe I just want it at the top, like that. I can dull out the greens a little bit if we wanted to. But I'm going to come down and I'm going to do just some light flurries. Just like that. If I want to get rid of some of the snow, maybe there's snow right on her face I want to get rid of, or on her arm or hair or something like that. I'm going to click on the radial filter. And that is to the left of the brush. So here's our brush, which you know, hopefully everybody's familiar with using, the brush tool. The circle with a little circle in the middle is the radial tool. Once that's on, you're going to come in and see all these pins. So we can click on the pin that we don't want. So maybe I don't want this right here. I just click on it and hit delete. If you're not seeing these pins, down here it's going to say show edit pins and yours might be on never. Okay, so it's saying never show the pins. Well, you need to change that to auto or always. So we can say always show the pin. Auto, which I like, will show the pins while I'm in the image with my mouse and if I move out of the image it goes away so I kind of see what it looks like. So here I want to get rid of this one. Hit delete. If you're on a PC, you can when you delete it's not going to do the little poof, little cloud like that. It'll just go away. Now if you want to add in some snow in areas, maybe there's a spacing, then we can use the brushes. All right, so once you've uh, clicked on the brush tool, then click on whatever word is right here. So mine says exposure, and that's okay. I'm going to click on it. And I'm going to scroll down, and I've got winter brushes down here. I'm going to click on snow 3. And let's say I want my feather around 80, and flow I want all the way. Okay, and so now I just come through and make my brush a little bit bigger, and I'm just going to click. So I added just a light brush and well I want my I want my feather to be a little bit bigger this next time and so now I can click right here so we can add in more snow if we want to we can make the snow smaller see tiny little flakes if you want it to be stronger just keep clicking on it okay see how it's stronger like that if we wanted to blur it, we could go to the blur brush, grab that, and then brush over it. Oops, I changed it. Don't change it. You need to click new. <laughs> click new between those. And then we can come in here and blur. Oh, Amanda, I meant to hit blur. Sorry. Blur the snow. There we go. Click. See how important it is to change your brush? And click new in between them. If you want to delete any of the brushes as you move in, you can see your pen. So I say, okay, I don't want that one. Uh, maybe I don't want that one. Now, everywhere we clicked, see the little, oops, let me go back. Everywhere you clicked with your brush, 
it's going to show up as some little red marks. If I can hover over it. See all the little places I brushed. And if I don't want to get rid of all of them, just some of them, I'm just going to come in here and erase. Maybe erase that one. That one. Maybe I like the rest of them. And I can click Done. And we have Before and After. It is a fun set. I hope you enjoy it. And um, I can't wait to see what amazing edits and creations y'all make with it.